Hi there, welcome to data science tutorials and in today's video I am focusing on one of the commands that I called in my previous video which was updating filters based on previous filter selection. So here is that read this video comment and uh, this is about uh, two questions. The first thing is once we have a single entry against any previous input it does not show up. For example if product furniture has only one chair as a product it has a problem displaying chair so how it was uh, earlier so right now I have uh, product code as furniture product category as furniture and product subcategory as bookcases as only one category so what is referred here as if I have couple of product codes and within that I have just one product subcategory then it will not come into the drop down list or the select input so as it mentioned for example if product furniture has only chair as sub product it has a problem displaying chair it will be helpful if you can help with the same so that's the number one thing second thing is uh, also in the final product choice always take the default value only for example when choosing envelopes in subcategory try selecting self steel self seal white envelopes instead of uh, default value recycle envelopes and you will notice that it will go back to recycled envelope always all right so here in this case uh, what i believe is referred as uh, it is always selecting the first value but not any default value what if if we have a default value like uh, for example on four shelf metal bookcases and in that case uh, it should be selected not the first one or the uh, very first one when they are selecting the bookcases all right so let's go back into the code so right now what i have done is uh, I have just removed all of the sub product categories by taking it into a separate sheet like in this case chairs and a couple of others and just left with the bookcases to test if I'm selecting any product category then what is happening is it happening based on how the comment is given and if yes then how we can resolve that all right so for that I will go here and run this code So I have manually specified the product categories as you must be aware from my previous videos, these three categories. And if I select furniture, so as the uh, user mentioned, we do not have the product subcategory. What it is giving us just the column name. So that means it is a right, it is a issue. And I believe it is mainly because, uh, mainly because of how we are using the command over here using the dply r so if i go back and change it to something like this which is a default way of selecting the or filtering the data or a basic way so what i meant by that is if i am saying x and uh, product list dollar product subcategory and then I'll just copy this all right and here I have pretty much the same information because what I'm doing is I'm selecting the product subcategory and I'm filtering it by the main product and I will comment this control shift C is a shortcut if you are not aware so I'll save this uh, stop the previous instance and run it again giving me an error let's see so it is saying product category not found here we have specified product category what we need is product underscore list dollar stop this previous instance and run it again yeah save it all right so here in this case now i have the furniture category and i am getting the bookcases so by changing this to from a deep liar code to a normal code in such cases where you just have one category you can make it available 
So here we have resolved the first thing or the first issue. Let's go back and see the second one. And the second one, what Manas is saying that also if you have the final product choice, always takes the see how we can select the default value. All right, so here in this case, we want to select the product name as a default value, one of the product name. So what I can give is the additional parameter, selected is equals to, and let's take any product, maybe hot metal. This one is probably our default product. So I'll save this. Let's try reloading the application by pressing F5. And as you can see, now what we are getting is this on metal bookcases that we made it default. So here we have the default option. That's what it is giving me. So if I go back, let's say I change this and again go back and select office supplies as it does not have, so it is not displaying anything. But as soon as I go back and select furniture, it will again show me back the on metal bookcases. So I think uh, uh, these were the two issues or the two things, additional things. Uh, one was issue, one was additional stuff, uh, which was asked by Manas in this, in these two comments. So I hope uh, it helps Manas and everybody who is looking for such solution. But if there is any other question going on in your mind related to how we can further enhance our select input, I will be happy to see that questions and uh, try my best to resolve or try my best to get the answer because it will increase even my learning also. So thank you guys for watching this and I will meet you in the new video, the new topic.